So I had this tune in my head this morning as I was um, mulling something that's been troubling me this morning. And it had some really mushy chords in it. I knew it was a piano piece. I didn't know what the piece was. I wasn't even sure if it was something that I've played on the piano in years past. I don't get to get on much these days. Or whether it was some other bit of music that I just had come had come in. But I knew that I really needed to find this music, that it was what was going to guide me home through this troubled mulling that I had going on. So I came to the piano and I looked through my music and of all the music that I have to look through that I could have picked, thinking that I wouldn't possibly find this because I didn't know what it was, um, I, I settled on some Schubert. So I got a book of Schubert out and um, I thought, well, I'll just flip through and see if anything I recognise that might possibly be this or sound anything like it. And I didn't find it, but I felt guided towards this one piece that had some mushy chords at the beginning, but not the same tune. And so I started playing it. And it's in um, several parts. It's in uh, Schubert's Moment Musical, Opus 94, number 6. And um, lo and behold, as I played on, I got to this last section. And that was the music. That was the music that was in my head. and. Um, it goes like this. I'm going to play it very badly because I, I'm really out of practice, but I'll try. Schubert would turn in his grave, but, <laughs> but I found it, and I had this recognition, and it was like a coming home, that my intuition had guided me to the piece that was going to bring me back to the truth of who I was, bring me back to my core, to my centre, bring me back to a place of feeling safe when everything else seemed at sea. And I wanted to share this because, one, it was just an incredible thing to realise that not only can I listen, can I hear my intuition that I can be guided, but when I follow it, it's usually right. Sometimes it can be incredibly difficult to even listen, never mind follow. But I know that when I do, it's always right. And and I wondered um, what what helps you hear you and follow your intuition. Or I would love to hear your stories if that's happened to you and you've followed your intuition and you've not known you've not known or been able to rationalise about it, but you've you've been you followed it and it's worked for you. Um, but it also got me thinking about what is it that helps us get back to the truth of who we are when, when we feel all at sea. And I know for me music is, is a really big thing. It's, I don't know why I don't have it more in my life. Um, funnily enough, the thing that was troubling me is about the choice of schooling that we've, we've taken a plunge towards. And uh, it turns out that I'm not the only one who's worrying about this new venture um, and that there are two other mums in what's a very small school actually putting their children out. Well, actually after a third child, one mum has two children 
and and one of the, the troubling things is that there's no music, there's no languages, there's no support, and no willingness for those things. And whilst I'm determined to be proactive about it, if it doesn't work out with the school, we can find those things, but it is unsettling. And of course, music is so important, isn't it? I mean, it's such a big part of my life. And um, for me, music, my piano, has always been a place that I can use for my thinking, use for my creative, my, my expression. Sometimes just speaking words doesn't do it, does it? And sometimes speaking your truth is just way too scary or, you know, you haven't got the words and to bypass that in some other form is so powerful and for me that's my piano. To stick on a piece of music completely changes my 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 energy, my, my frame of mind. So for me, music's a really powerful one. But I know that there are prisoners um, in prison, having done terrible things, who can't admit to what they've done or show any remorse. And that actually, it's quite common that when they reach a, a really significant turning point in that journey, they turn to poetry. They will actually often, rather than speak about it or put into words their feelings or remorse or whatever, they will actually write poetry. So I'm wondering what what is your um, gui I, no, what where what guides you back to the truth of who you are and to your centre. I'd love to hear your thoughts and, and any stories you want to share. Bye for now.